Hey Leo, what's going on? Hope you are doing very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a reading for April. But uh, you know, timeless reading, blah blah blah. Uh, you're very welcome here Leo. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it so much. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you know, you'll enjoy it and all that good shit. And if that is the case and you feel called, this lover's card really wants to be out. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or a soulmate or something. Um, ooh. Chariot and the lovers. Those are both twin flame cards. Or a decision, could be a decision that you're making, okay? Uh, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it all that good stuff and if that is the case and you feel called to like and subscribe for me you know I'd appreciate that very much as well so I have already shuffled these two decks here just to save a wee bit of time what's the message for Leo? any message for Leo from this deck? forgive Ooh. Leo. <laughs> I can already feel some people clicking off. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean that doesn't really need much explanation, right? You have like the little the little, little chica sitting in the bath being all depressed and you have forgive. Okay, sorry that that didn't focus very well. This camera really doesn't like this setup. Oh, what, what was that? You have the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like these want to come out. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, you know, this is more about what's written in the cards because you have Peace and Solutions here, the Death card and Temperance. The Temperance card often talks about a reconciliation. The death card talks about something ending and a new beginning coming. The eight of pentacles talks about working on something. Kind of looks to me like you might be trying to work something out with someone, which is really funny because Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer all had the same reading. I feel like that might be what's coming in for you, Leo. Okay, let's see. Let's see who this is. It could also be someone that you meet or, well, I should say met because you clearly know this person. Um, it could be someone that you met at work. I already shuffled these or through school. <sighs> really? Every time, huh? Okay, so you have the world card definitely something ending or like you know something ending so a new cycle can begin I'm just gonna take the top one hmm you know the world and then you have the magician so it's not the fool which is the first card in the tarot but it is the magician which indicates that like you've learned everything that you have you you can <clears throat> This could be someone that like you've been in separation from because you guys both had lessons to learn and now you've learned those lessons and there's a new cycle beginning with the world. There's something, you know, something ending and something beginning here. Let's see. Who's who's coming towards Leo? Two of Wands. This could be someone that lives further away or lives far apart or something because you have the world and the two of wands, the ten of wands which is usually a heavy burden who is this person coming towards Leo? the two of swords, what the fuck is going on with your reading Leo? we have the eight of pentacles again
The Four of Pentacles. <laughs> the Seven of Wands. What the hell? You've got all the bad cards. Like, I'm sorry, but you do. You have all the messed up cards. Right, what is this world card doing here? The Six of Swords. So there's definitely movement away from an old cycle. See, the, there's definitely, there's something about a decision here and the, the temperance card, like solutions, I like that they've called it solutions in that deck because that's what it talks about, like, because this could be someone that you fight with or something all the time or it could actually be your twin flame. I feel like there's a union of twin flames going on at the moment because that's literally what came out for Aries to Leo and honestly, I usually do prefer to focus on newer energy, um, but that's just not what's coming out at the moment. So there must be like a twin flame cycle coming together here. Cause I feel like you guys want to work this out. And it's about like two people that might be very different coming together, finding compromising solutions. Cause I feel like there's been a lot of holding back here, you know, with the four of pentacles and the seven of wands. And that Four of Pentacles is underneath the Death card. So I feel like there may have been a lot of emotions that were not spoken. You know, like the two of you were just kind of like, no, I'm not saying it first, you know? Um, and like a lot of defensiveness. And see with this Two of Swords, also, you may have met this person in work or school and maybe it just wasn't the right time before, you know? If you were working together or whatnot, cause you know what they say about that sort of thing. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, I'm just saying that may have been something that blocked it before for one or both of you. What is this Two of Wands? The Two, the two of Swords talks about s sort of blocking something out. What is this Two of Wands? Ooh! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So you see the way the cards didn't want to come out as well? It's like this has taken so long, so long. Like the Two of Wands is a card of, it's kind of waiting. But it's like the in-between stage, right? Because like the, the Ace of Wands is when you first meet the person and there's that spark. And then the Two of Wands is when you put, you have to put in the work, you know, like the behind the scenes kind of work. And then the Three of Wands is like when you're ready and something's ready to move forward. But I feel like there's something, like the work has been done. And I feel like someone's about to make a decision here and come in very fast. They might live a little further away. That could have also been an issue because there's like cards of travel here. Like someone's coming to see you or you're going to see someone else. Look, there's another travel card, Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Wands. So there's something here that was a very heavy burden that someone has now gotten over. Like they've put it down, they're about to move on, but I feel like this, like move on from the problem, I mean, whatever was blocking this, but it has been delayed. The Six of Wands is a delay because, you know, I always say this with this card, it often talks, it talks about like a Roman triumph kind of thing. You know, when they would be away fighting battles for years and years and then they would finally come back. So that, it could have been years that you guys have been separate, which is twin flamey. Uh, clarify the two of swords. Oh, the three of swords. So both of you, or this person, I kind of feel like it's both of you, you might have been mirroring each other here. Like you might block, they might have blocked out this connection because they didn't want to get hurt. Like they didn't, didn't want to get, man that's wild. Like they didn't want to get their heart broken. And there's something coming through with this card here about, it's like they thought you were out of reach. Maybe are you older? Maybe is the feminine older? 
or you were a teacher or you taught them or something or they feel like you have more knowledge than them or something there's something about them they might have felt like a little inexperienced or something like that because I'm just looking at this card and it's like the the woman is teaching the boy you know what you know what I mean she just looks like she might be a bit older or more experienced or something all right what is this four of pentacles the page of swords they're definitely this is someone who is very closed off emotionally I feel like they're regarding their heart but that's what they're moving away from they may even like when you met this person maybe they'd had their heart broken or it was like an old wound or something clarify the seven of wands it's just I see this person yeah They've made this decision, I'm going to talk about this, <laughs> they've made this decision. Are you working online or do you get a lot of attention or something? They've been looking at you. I mean, you might get a lot of attention, right? You're a Leo. But that's what you're supposed to do. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? And you don't seek it out. Leos just get attention naturally because that's what you're here for. Um, but th this may have been someone that's watching you. I feel like it's someone from your past. Like you might have been like glowing up on your social media or whatever the kids are calling it these days. And they've been watching you. They've been, w you see how you have, oh I see. I see exactly what this is. You see how you have the world here, which is kind of you. Oh, I'll have to cover it because of no nudity. So that's such you, right? And then you have, you see how he's holding the world there? So it's like, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about uh, the YouTube law about the, the nudity, but that's not why you're here, so I'll just, zip it um focus brain come on yeah it's like they've been watching you have this glow up and they're like what do i do because it's like they're holding you in, in their hand in this picture and being like oh i really want them I really want leo what do i do and they've been umming and they've been ahhing but i think they've done a lot of work on themselves as well like the two of ones is someone that's done a lot of work and then they're going to make this decision to come in really fast and i feel like See, the thing is with the Knight of Swords, it's very um, spontaneous. Like, it's someone that literally just is like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. So it might even be, you know, they're like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And then they end up just picking up their phone, sending you a text and turning off the phone or something. You know what I mean? Or picking up the phone and calling you and being like, hey, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. You know, like that kind of rapid movement, like... If I don't do it now, I'll never do it. I'm just going to do it. Um, and you have the Seven of Wands here with the Knight of... Yeah, okay. You have the Seven of Wands here with the Knight of Wands. So this person, they may also have Leo in their chart, but um, they may also have Gemini in their chart. They were kind of in and out before with you. I don't know if they were a player. I, the, the Knight of Wands doesn't necessarily have to mean player. It just means someone that's kind of in and out like a, a little all over the place they don't know what they want it's like you, you know um but it it comes from defensiveness i don't actually think this person was a player i don't think it was about sowing their wild oats and stuff like that and being like oh don't tie me down man it's more of a don't try and get close to me because i don't want to get hurt that's what this was so even if this doesn't work out with you, you should know that that's what this was with this person. Because maybe that's going to change your mind and help you forgive them. Even if it means like letting go of the situation and moving on or whatever, I feel like that's not what they want. They don't want you to move on. They want to fix this. But even if that means, you know, for you, that you can forgive and start something with someone else or whatever, you should know with this person, they... They didn't mean to hurt you and they didn't it wasn't that you weren't enough actually if anything I think it was like you were too much like that's, that's not what I meant I mean like you were too 
like out of their league is what I should say. Like they, they felt a little, not that you were too much, like they felt that you were, yeah, like out of their league or they weren't worthy. Also, the, there's like, I don't want to get hurt. So they came in and they flirted with you a little bit and then they would come go back out and then they would come in and flirt and then go back out. It's this kind of, I don't want to get hurt because you have the, yeah. Oh, oh, this humans are such a pain in the arse. I'm sorry, but we are. You have the nine of wands here and the eight of cups, right? So this person, I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they'll tell you one day. But see the nine of wands here? This is someone who was hurt in the past. Now that could be anything. That could be childhood. It could be a shitty relationship. Um, but this is someone who was like, I don't want to get hurt again. And they may have ghosted you with the eight of cups. This could have been someone that walked away. But they didn't want to get hurt. That's the reason. It's not that you weren't good enough for them. It's not that they wanted someone else. It's not that they were like, you know, more interested in their harem. It, they didn't want to get hurt and they were kind of suspicious of you because I do think this person kind of puts you like a little bit up on a pedestal honestly I don't know if there's an age gap and that's what it is for some of you it's going to be that but also you have this nine of pentacles in reverse so that tells me that the reason yeah the nine of pentacles in reverse is someone that doesn't feel worthy like the nine of pentacles uh upright is um excuse me <coughs> um the nine of pentacles in reverse that was a weird sneeze um the nine of pentacles in reverse is someone that doesn't feel worthy you know so see with the magician here they've learned they they had to go away they've been away learning lessons and becoming like who they were supposed to be and you have the temperance in reverse i just feel like the wait is over they're actually going to come in and offer you, you have the Five of Pentacles here and you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of, uh, sorry, the Ten of Cups. They're going to come in and offer you commitment. That's what this is leading to. Like they want to come in out of the cold. I actually think it's going to happen quite fast because you have the Tower here. You have the eight of pen, uh, sorry, the eight of swords. Like this person's become unstuck. Like for those of you who resonate with being the feminine, like this person has figured out that you are their divine feminine. Like they've had some kind of tower moment. The knight of swords has come. Someone coming in very fast, by the way. <laughs> so it might even be like you wake up to a text message. You know, like that kind of behavior. <laughs> like you go to bed and you wake up with like a three-page text message, and you're like what what and you have the moon in reverse see they're not scared anymore all right let's um get some Oof. leo this is some intense energy you got here <coughs> um okay let's clarify this knight of swords God, I have no space here. They really, I, I just saw the five of swords and the nine of pentacles again. So this person really, it, it came from a place of lack of confidence. Okay, because you're showing up here as this queen of wands, like, you know, really gorgeous, confident, um, you know, alluring. And I think they were just like, I don't know why you're fucking with me. <laughs> like, uh, I don't get this. I'm going. I am swearing a lot. I don't know. So I'm just, uh, yeah. Mm. It is what it is. <coughs> Maybe that's how this person makes you feel. Um, <coughs> <coughs> coughing a lot as well. Clark, I was not coughing before I started this reading. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Oh, the Tower! <laughs> Uh-oh, that's gonna happen really, really fast. Really out of the blue. Mm -hmm. You have the Temperance card, Reconciliation. They also, I think they know that they have to come in and be honest with you if you're not gonna walk away. 
um, clarify <laughs> clarify the Knight of Swords. I'm laughing because your person seems to have a lot to say. The Three of Pentacles, see, they're not in it to like hit it and quit it. The Three of Pentacles is someone that wants to build something really solid with you. Like the world with the Three of Pentacles, it's like, I want to build a life with you. I'm not saying it's not going to have its problems, but I do think that you guys can work this out if you want because this is someone, like, they want to come back in and, like, work on this with you. I think that's what you guys are going to have to do because you might be very different or something, I don't know, just with that, solutions, but it's like, I want to find a way to make this work. And the Three of Pentacles, it's like, see again how they're sort of standing looking Sorry, I have to shove it right in your face or it won't focus. See, it's like they're problem solving, right? It's like, I want to find a solution. How do we make this work? Like, what went wrong last time? What did we do wrong last time? Right? Let's not do that again. I don't want to do that again. Like, with the tower, it's like, I want to start fresh. Let's forget the past. You know, not forget. Not forget, but like start over right and do it properly this time that's what's coming to you um clarify the knight of swords the five of pentacles they want to come in out of the cold they don't want to be out in the cold anymore that's the five of swords you guys have maybe been fighting or i feel like they want to clear this up like things that were not said or, you know, this, this type of thing. Because they feel it's very heavy. It's a very heavy burden being away from you. They don't like it. They don't like how it ended. They want to work on this. I just saw the Eight of Pentacles. Um, what is this? What? <laughs> you have the Knight of Swords, uh, the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords is kind of vicious when she wants to be okay she has a sharp tongue this person sees you as someone not vicious but very smart and maybe with a bit of a sharp tongue okay and also the queen of swords kind of has her back up because this person left right so they're kind of worried that you're going to be like <laughs> you know like eviscerate them with their, with your tongue basically um but they're going to come in anyway Clarify the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups, they're really sorry that they left you. Cause you're their Queen of Cups. Like you're the one, you're the one. You're all soft and compassionate. They really hope that you're gonna forgive them for walking away. Eight of Pentacles again. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, this person's worked really hard on, because I think they have problems with emotional availability for some reason. They've worked really hard on that. Like they, they want to open up to you, they want to talk to you. This person has been hurt in the past. So I don't know what went down there, but they're a little suspicious of you, this person. I think, oh my God, look at these cards that are coming out. They're a little guarded. I really, honestly, it's, it's like they don't understand. There's a lack of self-worth with this person and it, you have family issues here. Like it seems to come from something to do with their family which came out for, who did that come out for? Taurus? I think it came out for Taurus. Oh, sorry, I'll leave my camera cut out. I think, I think that came out for Taurus. So maybe you're dealing with someone that has Taurus in their chart or maybe you're a Taurus or something. Um, yeah, this keeps coming up. This person feels like you're their soulmate. Like they feel like you're the one they're meant to be with. Um, you have I'm coming back. Not taking that one because it's in reverse. What else would this person like to say to Leo? 
I'm plucking up the courage. I'm so scared of you. <laughs> um, and again, the Knight of Wands here, it, it does talk about someone who's plucking up the courage to do something. What was that? Oh, they had to go away to heal themselves. Okay. I hate being apart from you. Cards are just like coming up. I really think this person has a lot to say. Like the camera just went to 111 as well. Honestly, don't be surprised if you get like a really long message or something from them or they just call you up and be like, blah, 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 blah. You'd be like, what the hell? Like you, <laughs> you have emotions? I didn't know that. You have the others were just a warm up. Old flame, so it's definitely someone you know. Money and legal problems, that might have been another reason that they fled. Um, because uh, they may not have had a lot of money or something. Maybe they felt like they didn't have enough to offer you. Look at that. Union at the bottom of the deck. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. This feels like a twin flame union or soulmates or whatever you want to call it. You've tested, your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. This, this connection has really tested you both. This wants to come out too. This is a telepathic connection. So if you feel like this person talks to you, look at that twin flame. If you feel like you get a lot of communication from this person, like at night, maybe when you finally switched your brain off or something like this, it's not, you're like, you're not imagining it. Telepathy is a real thing, you know, particularly with this type of connection. Cause if it's a twin flame, basically it's part of your soul. So you're just communicating with another part of your soul, which makes sense. You know, you can even look it up if you look at, you know, if you, if you start investigating like quantum physics and stuff, like it, it's, it's real. Like, you know, atoms remember each other. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one literally says twin flame. This one hardly ever comes out. Like the yin yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. And these twin flame journeys are meant to trigger the shit out of you. Um, because the reason that they're here is to raise the vibration of the planet. That's why. Um, and the twin flame thing, like it, it does it very quickly, you know, cause it can take a whole lifetime. And you know, honestly, if you don't, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen, right? Um, and not everybody even has a twin flame, but you know, the spiritual awakening deal can take a whole lifetime, but with a twin flame thing, it happens in like four years, five years, two years, you know, it's fast. And I think you're going to be really, I think you're both about to embrace this because you have embrace your loving connection and rejoice. I think you're both about to embrace this. Part of the problem here, I'm not going to take that because it's in reverse. Part of the problem here, um, you have illusion and obstacles. Both of you thought that this wasn't real. So it's like both of you kind of thought the other one was too good for you, the other one, other one of you, or you thought it wasn't real or it's not coming back. I think that was part of the problem here. But it's like the pull to be together is just really strong. So uh, this person could be a Scorpio straight off the bat, um, which Scorpio is like if, uh, what was I was going to say, if there's any Scorpios watching, like I'm not throwing shade or anything here, but Scorpios do have a tendency to kind of be really harsh on themselves. I think like, a lot of Scorpios tend to, ha they get in their heads quite a lot, quite like Gemini, but I think more, they're harsher on themselves than Geminis, I think. You know, it's like, oh, why would this person want me? Or it's just gonna go wrong. Or, There's no point in trying, blah, 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 blah. And it, they're very harsh on themselves, I think, Scorpios. Um, so this person could have Scorpio in their chart. We have Virgo here as well, but I'm gonna take this one, playful. So this person's very playful. Who's this person coming towards Leo? Chilled, humble, 
traditional. Who is this person coming towards Leo? Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to reshuffle all of that because I don't know what that was. Blue eyes is really eyeballing me here, so they might have blue eyes. Um, oh. <laughs> Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this person might be a lot more sensitive than they let on. You also have Aquarius here. Um, so they could be like kind of quirky. You know, Aquarius like to be very different. Like Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day is an Aquarius or Harry Styles is an Aquarius or... I can't think of any females off the top of my head. Um, Cam. Who's this person? You have cute. Who's this person coming towards Leo? Dimples. Dark hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neat appearance. Intuitive. Who's this per person? You have serious. Who's this person coming towards Leo? They flung it on the floor. Hold on. That was honourable. Um, what else about this person coming towards Leo? Kind. What else about this person coming in for Leo? Empathetic, tough, caring. And let's get a couple more. You have best friend and Gemini here. <clears throat> so you guys could have been friends before, you know, um, before you guys met. Before you guys met, uh, before you guys like before this turned into like a romantic thing, you guys could have been friends. I mean, you were friends before you met technically here in the three D because this is, this is like a spiritual thing. You have affectionate, ambitious, let's get two more. Saucy mm -hmm. and good cook. You also have Pisces at the bottom of the deck, so this person could be a Pisces. Um, so yeah, that is your message, uh, Leo. I hope this was a useful reading. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, hopefully it resonated and you enjoyed it. And if that's the case and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.